Hey everyone. Okay, so we have been over the last six days through posting, making a post on Facebook, reaching out to someone about Plexus, how to follow up with those people and get them ready to buy, how to handle and answer any objections or questions they might have about the products, and then how to take them through the sign-up process and how they should order um, to get the best deal for them and to grow your business. So now you've got your Plexus ambassador underneath you, hopefully, or a Plexus customer and your work is not done. We have to help that person get results on these products and be happy um, and hopefully eventually want to tell someone in their network about the products as well. So today we're talking about how to help your customers and ambassadors be successful with their Plexus products, get the most out of them, and therefore um, build a really solid um, level of retention in your business to build up your stream of, of cash flow to either help pay for your products on an ongoing basis or to continue compounding that month over month. Okay, so a couple things that are most important towards helping your people get results on the products. The number one thing I'll say is that the most important part of getting someone successful is setting them up with the right expectations about the products. Because what we sell here with Plexus is not a quick fix. Um, and most of you know that. You might have had really quick results with the products. I honestly did. I noticed a difference pretty quickly. And the first few people I signed up for Plexus, I expected them to all have that same experience that I had. And when a few of them didn't, um, it kind of shook me and kind of made me feel bad. I was kind of like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. But what I come to understand is really how these products work is over time. And with time and consistency, those are the two things. So they've got to be patient and they've got to use the products. I mean, they're good products, but they're not going to work sitting on their kitchen counter, okay? So when you set them up with the right expectations that this is not going to happen overnight, they may or may not notice changes in the first 30 days. They need to come in with an expectation that they're gonna try this for at least 90 days. Really, I mean, we're talking at least, I would say 90, 90 days to six months would be ideal, but telling some, tell someone that they need to come in with an expectation that they're gonna try it for 90 days. So set them up with that understanding. Let them know that it, it, you know, they might notice you know, a little bit of increased energy, decreased appetite or cravings in that first month, but it's probably not gonna be like huge, crazy changes in that third phase. And then if they have those changes, then all the better. But at least we've set them up with an expectation that they're not going to feel bad if they haven't gotten that by the end of 30 days. Okay, so we need to set them up with those right expectations. If I, and I set them up with these expectations on the front end before they've even bought. So if I have someone that says, hey, I just want to try the products, and I'm like, that's great. Um, here's what I recommend. You know, these products work over time by really healing the body and getting to the root cause of your headaches or your sleep issues or things like that. It might not clear up you know, overnight. I tell everyone to come in with the expectation that they're gonna try it for 90 days. That way they already know that coming in. So set them up with that initially, but then go ahead and keep reinforcing that as you're getting them ready to start their products. Um, because we want them to have the right expectation. We don't want them to think that two weeks in they're gonna have lost 10 pounds and um, all the problems they've experienced over the last few years are gonna be fixed, okay? So the correct expectations are key. Um, we also want to include in those expectations just the understanding that things might get a little bit worse before they get better. Detox is very normal. Um, I have a video um, on YouTube and in the team pages um, that has been widely circulated about detox. Um, so, you know, just helping them understand that. Let them know you might feel a little worse before you get better. Um, and I'll kind of talk, tell you in a second about how I kind of schedule out the way that I tell them that. Okay, so... They have the right expectations. They know that things, there might be just kind of a balancing out period while their body's working stuff out. Um, but they need to be willing to try it for a couple months. And because of that, the convenience order is the second thing that is just most important to their success. If someone signs up without a convenience order, they are, I think Plexus says that only 15% of people that sign up without a convenience order will reorder their products. Because what's going to happen, they're going to get to the end of that first month, they're going to run out of stuff. Um, you know, they may or may not be noticing huge changes at that point. They're going to get out of the routine that they've developed um, if they're without their products for a few days, and they may not ever get back on. So if someone signs up without a convenience order, I frankly don't even count it hardly as a new join on my team because I know that it's unlikely that they're going to stick with it unless we can get them to sign on, commit to what they're going to do for their body, and get that convenience order turned on so that they don't run out of their products. Um, I have another good video on YouTube um, that is good to send to new people 
that may be signed up without a convenience order, explaining why it's so important to their success that they have that turned on. So that's a good one to send to people as well that, that um, show up without that turned on. Hopefully if you're signing people up over the phone, you can get out in front of that a little bit. Um, the convenience order is super, super key. And your business will not grow consistently and you will not see your points increase month to month um, if you do not have people's convenience orders turned on, okay? Um, all right, third thing that's super important about getting them set up correctly and um, helping them wanna stay on their products is just getting them connected. Because you are awesome, but the more voices they can hear telling them how great these products are, what they've done for people, what they need to be doing, the more likely they are to be successful. So we wanna start with three-way chats. Three-way chats are the number one thing that all the diamonds and everyone else is gonna tell you are key to getting people successful. And um, it's kind of like we talked about three-way chats with prospects. Even if you know a lot about the products, just having that third voice, that third-party validation come in and saying, yes, everything she said is correct. Um, you know, and adding in her two cents is extremely effective, but it's a must for your ambassadors and your customers. And you um, will likely not see great rates of retention if you're not connecting them with at least one other person besides yourself. So set up those three-way chats and do it quickly. Start building that relationship um, you know, with your sponsor and your new ambassador so that if they do go into a detox that's already in place um, and they can give their input on what's going on, just encourage them that what they're experiencing is normal um, you know, and you know, be, be that second voice to what you're telling them. So three-way chats, critical. Convenience order, I would say convenience orders and um, three-way chats are probably the most critical things to me about helping retain your customers and ambassadors. Um, next, connecting them in the team pages. That's so important. You might be a little bit worried and think, hey, you know, this person, she doesn't want to work the business right now. I don't want to add her to the team pages. No, you need to add them. It is so critical. There are great resources in there, great videos on the products, great troubleshooting tips on the products. You want them in there and you want them seeing all this activity around Plexus, all the people that are in there, um, how many new people are coming in, how much energy and excitement there is, how many people are ranking up at the end of the month. I came in honestly without any intention of working the business. Um, and when I was added to the team page, I was kind of like, what is this? Okay. And um, but over a couple months, I saw everything that was going on. I saw posts in there. I saw team calls. And one, I thought this looks fun. And two, I thought, well, if all these people are making all this money, I know I can do it too. So super important for just getting your people connected, helping them see the potential and the excitement and the fun that we have here in Plexus so that hopefully they may want to work the business with you. Okay, so we're going to get them connected on our three-way chats and on our team pages um, so they can see everything that's going on there. Um, and the next thing that can be really effective for helping people get be successful is helping them find an accountability partner, someone who can kind of come alongside them and try the products on the same schedule that they are. So we talk to people about this right out of the gate. This isn't even about getting to silver. This is about their success on the products. We're all more successful in our health endeavors when we're doing it with a friend, when we have a buddy <laughs> to get us to the gym, to help us eat healthy or to help us take our supplements. So you might say just even um, if you're on the phone getting them signed up, you might just even say at the end of that conversation to say, hey, I know you're really excited about these products and how they're gonna help you. You know, I have found that it's so much easier to be successful and consistent with them if you've got you know, a buddy to help you um, stay on task. I signed up my mom in that first week that I was trying Plexus and you know, I, I didn't want her to get better results than me. So of course I was more successful with my products or more consistent with my products. But phrasing it to them like that, really non-threatening, but it honestly does help them get better results if they know someone else is taking them with them. So encourage them in that. Um, and all of those things are just going to come together to help um, provide more reinforcement for the routine that we're hoping they will get in. Because if people can really get into a routine and really use products the right way, then they, they should have results on those products. Um, then, so let's talk about, I, if I sign someone up, what kind of do I do initially and how do I follow up with them over the next couple months? So the first day or the day after whatever, try to do it as quickly as possible. Once I've signed up, I send them kind of my welcome info. I have a video on my YouTube channel about getting started on your triplex and what to expect. 
um, that I'll send them. Um, I also have a document, a PDF document that um, has a similar info, um, but all typed out nicely. So I'll send them that as well. Some people like to watch, some people like to read. Um, it's similar info, but it's just kind of reinforces there. So I'll send those two documents. And then I have an Excel sheet um, that's kind of a recommended schedule for phasing in their products. Um, we really don't want people to just go full blast right out of the gate. Um, they can kind of trigger a more significant detox by doing that. It's better for their body to ease into it. Also, if they were to have some kind of reaction to one of the products, if we're doing it incrementally and only introducing one thing at a time, it's easier to identify what's going on so that we can troubleshoot it more. Um, so those are the things that I will send them initially. And then I'll also open up the three-way chat um, with my sponsor and add them into their team, into the team pages. Um, so that is for us, the Be Free, Be Empowered, Be You um, is everyone in Jamie's downline. Um, and then we also have Pink Power Team, which is kind of our bigger, broader group. Um, so there's a lot of similar information in those groups, um, but um, there's just lots of excitement, lots of activity in those groups. So it's great for them to be added in there. Um, so I'll usually do that first, then I'll open up the three-way chat and just say, hey, and I'll, and I'll try to send the welcome info in the three-way chat if I, if, if I can remember to do that. But let's say I've already sent it to them. I'll open up the three-way chat and just say, hey, um, you know, I just added you to our private team pages. There's so many great resources in there. I also just wanted to introduce you to my sponsor, Kendra. Um, she's been such a great resource to me. Um, in getting successful with Plexus, I just wanted you guys to um, be connected so that she can help um, as we try to get you good results on your products. All right, so you can kind of do that all at once um, so that they have everything that they need there. And from there, you've gotten them set up correctly, but follow-up is super key. So you want to get the, get kind of a good, consistent follow-up routine with your new people. All right, so within that first week, I like to reach out and just make sure they've gotten their products and see if they've had a chance to look at the welcome info, make sure they didn't have any questions. Um, then say about 10 days in, I will send them usually the detox video that I have and just say, so I'll give them that information. It mentions detox in there. I don't like to freak people out about detox because not everyone experiences it. Um, but I mention it in the welcome video. Then a week or two in, I'll send them the detox video and just said, hey, Hope you're feeling well. Um, you know, things are going well and you're getting into a routine with your products. I just wanted to send you this video just so that you're aware if you experience any detox systems, you kind of understand what's going on. From there, I do try to follow up with them at least once a week for that first month. Um, just to make sure they're getting into a routine, that they're doing the right things. I might say, hey, what are you taking now and when? Are you gotten fully phased in? That way I can encourage them if they need to change up their schedule. I want to catch that early. Um, if we need to change up dosing, I want to catch that early because we want to get them the maximum results in that first 60 to 90 days as possible. Um, um, then I'll, you know, check in maybe two, three weeks in and just say, hey, you know, how are you feeling? You know, what are you noticing? Do you, you know, um, you know, what changes have they noticed? They might not have noticed much. They might be in the middle of detox. So you don't want to phrase it like that they should have had this, you, you know, huge aha, like I feel amazing all of a sudden today kind of moment. You just kind of want to be checking in, like, you know, how are you feeling? Do we need to troubleshoot some detox? Do we need to, um, you know, change anything up? Those kind of things. You just want to be checking in. Always do that in your three-way chats um, so that you can, um, you know, your sponsor can add in their voice to that as well. Um, so follow up in those first 30 days. I try to do it at least once a week. If at that point they're doing pretty good, I'll go to every two weeks in that 30 to 60 day period. Um, but I do try to follow up with people really closely in that first 60 days um, so that I can make sure that we get them good results on the products. Um, and then from there, if they're doing really well after that, then probably once a month is probably sufficient at that point. Um, but always encouraging them if they're happy with their products to tell a few friends or family members, try to get them to silver um, to help pay for their products. If you can get people to a point where they're paying for their products, then they're infinitely more likely to stick with it because if they're using it for free then that's kind of a no-brainer um, but ultimately we would just want people to be happy and have enough results in the products that they want to stick with it and maybe want to tell some friends or family members okay so that's how I would go about that getting them set up and good going through the follow-up process um, and just know that despite all your best efforts you might be doing everything right you will ultimately not retain everyone and that's normal it's normal for the diamonds it's normal for the rubies, it's normal for the golds and the senior golds and the silvers. So don't feel bad about that. Do what you can. Um, use 
your sponsor, use the team pages, connect them, all those things. Do, do that the right way. But you'll have people that just aren't willing to stick with it, that aren't willing to commit to do it the right way, that aren't willing to troubleshoot um, if things aren't going right, um, aren't willing to kind of change up their routine, won't drink the water. You will have those people, and that's not your fault. Don't get discouraged. Um, keep up with them. Stay in contact. I've had some people that tried it you know, out of the gate for a month or two and just didn't, you know, didn't stick with it, didn't give it, get, didn't give it enough time, turn their convenience orders off, but I kept up with them and kept encouraging them and they eventually came back around from that convenience order on and were able to kind of really be at a place where they were re ready to really invest in it, um, you know, uh, several months later. So, you know, it's not a closed door, keep up with those people, but it's normal to have that and I don't want that to make you feel bad if, if that does happen. So ultimately, all of us are here because these products are amazing. They help people. They, um, you know, they really do change people's lives and change people's health. Um, so that's, that's really what it all comes down to. But in order to get there, people do need the right amount of support um, to get good results on their products. Um, and that's one of the things that I think is awesome about Plexus is you get so much support around these products. Um, and so, you know, follow, follow these tips and hopefully we can get you a really high retention rate with convenience orders on to keep building your business.